students are working with Ross Lilly of Access Sport America. They are making devices to help five people with disabilities with things such as fishing, typing, dancing, arm movement, and photography. My group and I are working on a project for a man named Ray who was paralyzed in his um, later 20s and he has a really hard time using his hand because he can't um, move his fingers. So what our project is essentially a way for him to type without using his fingers and this is by making a fist and pressing a button and then this button is connected to the keyboard which is connected by the keys and he has access to move the button to whatever key he wants and then press it with his fist. It's so cool. <laughs> and it's, it's really working right now. I can time now with both hands. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> In our project, we're working with a woman named Marina who, when younger, had a traumatic brain injury while horseback riding. And this led to her, her having many spastic tendencies in the left side of her body, making it harder for her to walk and stand up. So our goal was to give her back something that she used to do, and one memory that she gave us was dancing with her siblings in the hospital as she was recovering. I could step in to the hoop and then oh, you can pull it up. Yeah, so like when you're getting out of your wheelchair, it'll be on the ground. Um, and so when you go stand up, it'll just, you'll already be in it. Oh. And then, and then that's probably easier, go like that. Oh, oh, so. So to best give this back to her, we made a device that could allow her to dance and stabilize herself with the help of her siblings while maintaining upper body movement. The basis of it is a Lazy Susan rotating disc with two sliding pipes so she can choose what orientation and direction she wants to be in, while also maintaining stability with handles and a bungee cord harness.